Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I am out on a dog walk. I thought I'd come down here today, walk the dog, and make a little update video. It's a beautiful spot, but I'm kind of regretting this already. It's not the best terrain. The last time I came down this way, all the grass was green and lush. It's a bit of a minefield right now, but I'll try and uh, keep my concentration focused on the camera. So everyone's been asking us, like, why is there nothing going on on the website? Why is there nothing really happening with the YouTube channel? And yeah, for like the last, I don't know, six months or so, it has all been pretty quiet and we've really not been putting out very much. And yeah, there are a lot of changes going on for us and a lot of things happening that I'm gonna fill you in on today. And if you have been paying extremely close attention to our YouTube channel, you might have noticed that there have been a few properties pop up in the last week or so. But yeah, all, all of our own properties, things that we're involved with, things that we've brought over the last few years. So uh, yeah, while there's been nothing on the website, while we've not really put out much this year, do have a look through, because there are a few new things on there, but it's mostly our own houses. So yeah, we're currently selling up everything. That's kind of where we're at at the minute. And I know we made a sort of clickbait video last year, like we're leaving Bulgaria, and we went to Turkey for a bit over the winter to escape the cold. Um, it's a similar idea, what we're doing this year. We are leaving, but this time it looks like it's going to be a bit more permanent. We've been working really, really hard over the last few years. And we came out here to relax, you know. We came out here for a, a slower pace of life, a much more wholesome way of life, time together as a family. You know, we, we imagine that by now we'd be completely off-grid. We kind of had this five year plan in our mind that we would uh, I mean it's been nearly seven years that we've been here now and we thought by now we'd definitely be settled we'd have a beautifully renovated house a fully functioning garden would be totally off grid um, and lots of kind of structures in place to sort of make our set up our life how we always wanted it to be um, but yeah like I said we've just been working so hard and that hasn't happened and we've been helping people we've been helping loads of other people achieve that over the last few years, which has been great. No regrets at all. We've had an amazing time. We've be built like a really great community down here in this part of the country in the southeast of Bulgaria. We're super proud of that and also feel really mixed up about, about leaving some of that behind. We're not going to be going too far, but at the same time, there's, there's some of those emotions there as well. But yeah, for us now, it's actually about focusing on ourselves and actually really doing something for ourselves and really setting ourselves up. We've been moving around so much. You'll see how many times we've changed our mind over the years, if you've been following this channel, how many properties we've brought and sold. And I mean, kind of been doing it all my life. I think I've probably lived in 30 different houses and a couple of boats. Yeah, we want to settle a little bit, put some roots down a bit. That's what we always came out here to do. What is it, B? What is it, B? Oh, is it some birds? Come on then. So every single year, we uh, we always take a little trip up to the Black Sea, and every time we go there, we fall in love with the place and think, how cool would it be if we could live here, do this every day? But it's never been reachable. It's, it's never been attainable goal in any way. It's obviously a lot more expensive to live near the coast, and um, I don't know. You know, there's always things going on. It's much, much the same as making the leap from living in another country to moving to Bulgaria. You know, it seems like a kind of similar obstacle. Got a lot of ties, and anyway, this year things things are changing. You know, as I said, we want to start doing a lot more stuff for ourselves, and we fell in love with a very particular area, which is in the mountains but also very close to the sea and I mean we started asking questions and things started presenting themselves I don't know how much I should or could or want to say about exactly what we're doing because we you know nothing's really certain for us yet we've not brought anything what we're looking at doing right now is moving in somewhere for the winter and just renting because we're not prepared where we are now We've not got any wood. 
and if we buy something now you know it's going to need work and it's going to be hard to get in there before the cold months so the plan really is just to sort of hold tight take a bit of time off rent somewhere spend lots of time in the forest spend lots of time on the beach lots of cold swims and uh you know just start getting in touch with reality again and and just start to relax a little bit more and focusing on the next goal so with regards to what the next goal is i mean it's probably maybe people will expect it but what it what we're talking about is buying huge amounts of land and we've already got our eyes on something uh it's a lot of forest land it's a lot of agricultural land and we're looking at buying something big like that on the edge of the mountains near to the sea and uh, I can't wait to show you guys what we found yeah. um if what I think is going to happen is going to happen then I'm I'm super excited to share that with you guys so I think we might buy something just for ourselves to live in short term while we kind of start setting up the long term plans of you know building roads setting up solar systems and irrigation systems and boreholes and building something to live in which could take any number of different routes at the minute from a-frame cabins to container homes to earth ships to, you know loads of possibilities that we're discussing right now so that's kind of where we're at at the minute and that's why you've not really seen very much of us on your screens recently as for the future of this channel, um, well first of all we're not going to be doing a lot of properties, do go and check out what is already there and see what we're offering, but um, we're going to be moving away from that pretty much, might be doing a few of our own still, but that's kind of where we're at at the moment. Um, if you're looking for that, I can highly recommend my good friend Melly, who lives in the same village as us, she's in the same village that I'm walking back towards now, uh, she's going to be taking over a lot of the properties that I know. I'm going to be passing a lot of people on to her. She's Hideaway Homes in Bulgaria, and I'll put a link here. Can I do that on the top of the screen? If not, it's in the description. And I'll also recommend Our Derelict Dream. Those guys are great, really lovely couple. They're um, up around the Vel Velikatanovo area, but they're finding some really great houses. So again, link or check them out in the comments or description, and go and follow their, their social media pages and see what those guys are offering, because they've all got some great properties right now. We were, as some of you might know, we were actually filming with British Television um, on our last project, and since that kind of since we changed our mind on that, we've kind of just been struggling to, in the same way that we've been struggling to make content for YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff. We've also kind of not known really what we want to put out on TV, and it's been hard for us to decide that. But that might still be happening. Um, I think it's kind of up to us really. Um, but yeah, I want to make lots more videos. I've got some really cool ideas. I want to start getting out into the local communities and experiencing some of the local culture and talking to locals and just documenting a little bit more about what I love about this country. And also what we get up to on our new farm, um, even when that happens. So yeah, that's it really. We're leaving. We are off and... Uh, we will keep you posted on everything that happens really want to say thanks so much to everyone that has supported this channel and followed us all these years like everything that we have achieved here that we are extremely proud of it wouldn't have been possible if people hadn't been you know watching our videos liking and subscribing and sharing these around and uh we're super grateful and proud of all of that and uh yeah it really comes down to everyone that's watching at home it's a massive part of it if you're not already subscribed to our channel Make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, follow what we get up to. Um, if you give this video a like, it's massive help for us. And thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll make another one of these soon. We'll see you in the next one.